All right, time for sports. Jordan's live at the Save on Foods Memorial Center where it's a big night for the Royals. What a difference a win made on Wednesday night. And uh, Jordan, you can uh, point your finger at tonight's game as being one that these guys really need to win. Oh, it is. Uh, well, we like to stay away from cliches in sports, so I won't say it doesn't get any bigger than this, but uh, suffice to say that it's really, really, really important that the Victoria Royals win this game tonight. And joining me to talk about that is uh, head coach and GM Mark Abscheid. Now, Mark, Portland back in town for the second night uh, in a row for you guys. Um, full building tonight. How uh, important is it to capitalize on this energy uh, early in this game? Well, I think we just want to keep it going. We uh, were fortunate to get the win on Wednesday, and uh, we don't want to be happy with a split, usually against a team that's that good. You know, you want to split, but we've got to be greedy right now and try and get both. And I guess if a player can't get jacked up for a game like this, it may be time for a career change. Well, it's it's why they uh, they play the game. That's why sports is so great. You get moments like this that, you know, you get butterflies in your stomach, and they're young guys in full building, and they're going to be excited about the game. But now they can, can got to control the nerves and, and play the game and play with enthusiasm, but uh, don't get too hyped up, otherwise mistakes happen. And Portland's a skilled team, a big team, but not necessarily a physical team as we saw the other night. Is that really the advantage for you guys? Well, I think they do have a good physical nature to their game, there's no question. I think, uh, you know, they rely on puck possession and, and um, you know, keep in control of the puck, and it's up to us to, to be physical but be smart and, you know, maybe pressure them up. And try to take space and away from them, and uh, not give them as much time to make those plays. Well, I know you probably have a Newt Rockney speech in the can. I'll let you go give that, Mark. Uh, congratulations to this point, and uh, good luck tonight. Okay, thank you. Excellent, Mark Abscheid, head coach for the Victoria Royals. Now, as the uh, regular season comes to a close for the Royals, the postseason begins for the Couch and Valley Capitals. Yes, they are the only team in the BCHL playoffs. They're in Surrey tonight for game one against the Eagles. These two teams separated by just a single point in the regular season. The Caps, though, boast the best record in the Coastal Conference. There are three helmets like this left on Earth. This guy has one. Arters Urbe has one. And the third belongs to our news director. The Playmakers Tournament is underway at Perks Arena in Saanich. Players as old as 90 year competing in the 23rd year of this tournament. Uh, check out the Parksville Panthers against the Victoria Traditionals. They say the hands are the first thing to, to go, but check out the sweet deflection right there by Ed Melville sniping in the 75 year old bracket. See, I'm 80, so I'm playing, punching above my weight here. But <laughs> it, it's uh, you're on, you're on the wrong side of the bell curve, that's for sure. <laughs> but, but it's still a lot of fun. You can't let these guys get away with anything out there. No, you gotta clamp down on them. You can't let them get away with slashes, anything. Somebody's gonna get hurt if you don't call it tight. What's the difference between playing this game when you're 75 uh, than when you're 25? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Finals in the age brackets go Saturday at Perks Arena. All right, time for your Friday sports. Jordan's here with that, Jordan. Hudson, thank you. Ask any golf fan on Vancouver Island, and they'll tell you the first stop on the Canadian Tour is always the best. The TC Island Savings Open is about a seven iron away on June 7th. Golf's up-and-comers will try and tame the Tour's toughest greens at Upland Golf Course. We will have the, the best golfers in the country here for the week, first week of June. And uh, uh, this tournament started in 1981, and the fact that it's still going uh, some 32 years later kind of spells out what it really means to Victoria. Well said, Keith. The $150,000 purse is up for grabs for the pros. Port Alberni's Elisa Herkel grabbed a purse of her own today, winning the Thrifty Foods Athletic Award. The Vikes will again have a strong presence at this year's TC Open, hosting their youth golf clinic starting Sunday, the week of the tournament. It's extremely important to give back to the community, and my players understand that. And they came through programs, junior programs, in their hometowns, wherever they are from across Canada. They know it. They know it's part of the deal. If we can, we can capture the hearts of some of them and get them excited about the game of golf, that is just a bonus because down the road in 15 years or 14 years or whatever it is, they could become the next great bike golfer. Oh! <laughs> the Barnsby Bulldogs are the top AA football program in the province and they're fueled by a giant pile of manure. Look at that, that's right. All this shoveling is one of the biggest but least fragrant fundraisers of the year. 65 to 70 metric tons of top quality cow manure is headed for Harbor City Gardens and the money goes right onto the backs of the players. 
All the proceeds go to the uh, purchase of uniforms and protective equipment for the boys. Uh, we think it's big for the program because when uh, you put your own shirt on your back, you value it more, you have a sense of ownership, and it's a, a great program builder right from the 11th graders down to the 8th graders right now this spring. Five bucks a bag or buy four and get the fifth bag free. Barsby parking lot head on down nine to five on Saturday and Sunday, and they'll even shove six pounds of it into a five pound bag for wow. you. Mm -hmm. That fundraiser is sure to uh, raise a lot of money for them. Shovelfuls sure, sure of it. Is. Yes. All right, Jody, thank you. All right.